Hi folks, this is Ashley L. Jones, author of Modern Cast Iron, and today I want to talk with you a little bit about enamelware. So what this is, is cast iron, this is a cast iron Dutch oven with an enamel coating. So this is porcelain enamel. It's made from glass. Uh, that is then bonded to the cast iron product. So you get the benefit of using a cast iron Dutch oven, which is what this is here, regular bare cast iron Dutch oven. So you get many of the benefits of that, but you also get some benefits of the enamel itself. So first of all, you should know that Dutch ovens are, are really great because they act kind of like a pressure cooker. You've got a nice heavy lid and that adds to the pressure inside, it keeps the moisture in, and it allows you to cook a little bit differently. So it's great for things like a pot roast, for example, it just keeps all that good moisture in there. Soup, chilies, that sort of thing, you can't go wrong with a Dutch oven. And you can make a lot of those in your regular bare cast iron Dutch oven, but if you're going to do something like a chili or like my taco soup recipe, and you're gonna cook it for a long time, the acid in the tomatoes can start to eat away at the seasoning that, that's inside this Dutch oven. So that's when an enamel Dutch oven really shines because you can cook your acidic foods in it as long as you want and it's not going to mess with the seasoning because you don't have any seasoning inside because the inside is coated as well. Now there are some enamelware that's not seasoned on the inside. It just has a pretty coating on the outside and that's a little bit of a different thing, uh, but the ones that I like that I tend to use have this enamel coating on the inside as well as the outside. Now, the other benefit is that just like with your regular cast iron, it's not going to add any chemicals to your food. There used to be some concern about lead in the coloration that's used um, on the enamelware. But the FDA doesn't allow any products with lead in it anymore, and so anything that's imported cannot have that in there. I have not found any other concerns with regard to the enamel itself, so I really feel that this is a safe product, and, and so I use it quite frequently. Uh, again, it's non-reactive, so you're not going to get chemicals uh, or metals. So that's the downside when you use a regular uh, bare cast iron Dutch oven, it is going to release iron into your food as you cook. You're not going to get that with the enamel Dutch oven, so keep that in mind. So I just took these little things off. Um, sometimes when you get the, the two of these are from Lodge, and, and this is not, I'll talk about that, um, but they come with these little separators, and I love these because it keeps the lid from banging on the edge. And uh, it also allows some air to come in and circulate. That's why I have a towel here, because I like the air to come in and circulate between the lid and the pot. And that just keeps it from rusting and it keeps it fresher too. So uh, the lid is also heavy. And when you lay it down, you wanna be careful not to bang on it. Uh, this is Ruby. I've had her for a very long time. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but there are just some little spots here on the top where I banged it and some of that enamel come up and you can see the bare cast iron underneath it. I'm not concerned about that because it's not on the inside of the cookware, uh, only on the outside. If you have any uh, chipping at all or any cracking of the enamelware, it's got to go if it's on the inside uh, because you don't want that enamel, which is glass, to get into your food. Um, you can tell I've been using Ruby for a long time. You can see the discoloration on the bottom. And uh, I read that you can use some bleach to get that out. And I may try that and let you know how that works, but I haven't really been concerned about it. Uh, it still works just as well as it always has. So let me tell you a little bit more about what I have here. Uh, so we'll start again with Ruby. So you see, you see what's similar here? You've got a nice big pot and you've got these integrated handles. So they're not riveted on, they're a part of the pot itself, just like my original cast iron over here. And that's important because these are heavy. You don't want something that's riveted on that might pop off after a while. So all of these have the, that integrated handle, nice big lid, heavy lid. Um, I have not had any issues with the handles coming off. They're just screwed on, but I haven't had any issues with them loosening. You'll notice that this is black. 
this is uh, the bare cast iron. So there is some potential of maybe a little bit of rust, but you, you don't want to keep it in wet conditions to begin with. So um, as long as you just make sure it's dry, you shouldn't have any problems. One of the great benefits of enamelware is that you can put it in the refrigerator. And they say you can put it in the dishwasher, but I wouldn't do that. I would be concerned about this here or about the, um, the more harsher detergents eating away at the coloring. So I wouldn't do that, uh, but they say you can. Um, the other thing is cleaning. So with your bare cast iron, you can't soak it. You have to be more cognizant of how much water you have in there and making sure it's completely dry when you're done. Um, you, you might have a little bit more sticking if your seasoning's wearing off. This doesn't have seasoning. So uh, you can soak it in the, in the sink for a while. You can, um, um, like I said, put it in the dishwasher, but I wouldn't do that. Soaking is really the big benefit. I make my macaroni and cheese in this one, and soaking is really a nice option. Uh, but you still want to be careful when you clean it, even more so than your bare cast iron, because this one can chip. So you cannot use any kind of metal utensils on it or anything really harsh on it, or you're going to damage this enamel and then it's gone. Uh, so um, whereas you can use metal with that one, you cannot with this one. So you do have to be a little bit more careful with it that way. This is the Tramantina brand. Uh, and that's kind of, I guess, considered a budget brand, an off-brand, uh, but I got it from Sam's Club years ago. This is my first enamel Dutch oven. I got it for $40. You can still get this at Sam's Club for $40, and I think it's an amazing, amazing buy. For, best 40 bucks I've ever spent, and as you can see, I'm, I'm still using it. I use it regularly, and I love it. Um, I really can't say anything negative about it. So um, if you're on a budget or you want to get a starter Dutch oven and you're looking at enamel, this is a really great way to go. This is a seven quart one. If you have two people or more in your family, I would go with the seven quart because when you make a big pot of chili or soup, it, it gets big and this is a good, this is a good size for that. You always want to be careful with enamelware because it is colored on the bottom as well, but you don't slide it across your stove you always want to pick it up. So when you make a pot of soup, put it on the burner you want it on and leave it there. And then when you're done, you ladle out the food. You're not going to try to lift this with food in it. It's just too heavy. It's, it's not safe. So I received these two pretty girls from Lodge uh, to test and, and do some comparison. So you can see the, the lid says Lodge, which is nice. It's also uh, screwed on like this one. It's got the bare rim as well. It has a, a really pretty, I don't know if that's coming across, but it's a really pretty color. This is called their Oyster White. And uh, this is a six and a half quart, I believe, or a six quart, excuse me, it's a six quart. You can kind of see the size difference, um, and you can see the bottom there. I, I've really enjoyed this one. The biggest difference that I can tell you is that the side is rounded on the bottom, whereas this one just kind of comes down a little bit straighter. When you're cooking, you can feel that a little bit more. Um, that's not really a plus or minus. It's just a little aesthetic difference, but it's quite pretty. It's really pretty when you cook in it, and I, I like the white a lot more than I thought I, than I, thought I would, uh, but I haven't had any issues with it. It really cooks the same as this one, and in terms of heaviness, not much of a difference. This one might be a little bit lighter, but it's also a little smaller. Okay, I wanted to step away and check for a second on the pricing here. Like I said, the Tramantina Dutch oven was $40 from Sam's Club. You might be able to get that elsewhere. Uh, this is the six quart oyster white from Lodge and it's $92. This is the four and a half quart red Dutch oven from Lodge. And this one is $80. So um, you can tell the price point goes up pretty good amount when you're talking about getting a, a product from a trusted brand like Lodge. I don't recall if I have a warranty on um, the Tramantina, but I do suggest that if you get a Dutch oven, especially if you're going to spend more than $40, that you get a warranty because if it does crack, like I said, it, it, you're out of the Dutch oven. And if you start buying a product that costs more, it's really good to have a warranty just in case. I have 
known as someone who bought one from the department store and two days later it cracked completely. She was able to return it to the store. Now, Le Creuset, I want to check my price again. Le Creuset is really the brand that I've always known of, and I knew their products were, were for me, more expensive. And I wasn't able to afford a Le Creuset uh, Dutch oven. And so I kind of thought that I was just not able to have one. So these brands allowed me to purchase them and to use them and to be able to afford an enamel Dutch oven. A Le Creuset Dutch oven, seven quart red, or they called it cerise, was $400. So we're talking 10 times the price of the Dutch oven that I got from Sam. Now, they have a lifetime warranty. It's a beautiful product. They're amazing. They stay their lighter weight um, than other brands on the market. I don't know if they would compare themselves to Lodge or not. Lodge is newer in the um, enamel world. But 10 times as much is, is a big markup. So you just kind of have to go with what your budget allows and, and what you're looking for for your kitchen. But like you say, it's a beautiful, wonderful product. They've been around for a very long time doing this type of enameled work, whereas Lodge has been around for a long time doing the regular cast iron and has now just entered into the enameled products. So it's really up to you. I will say that if you're looking for a made in America enamel Dutch oven, don't bother. You're not going to find one. The FDA's requirements are so strict that it prohibits companies from really making enamelware here in the U.S. And so when you're looking for enamelware and you see something like made in China, that's that's common. Um, I, I did talk to my rep at Lodge a long time ago, and he said that they do maintain their standards with their products that come in from China, that they're very careful about making sure that it meets their standards and they check so much of every shipment and so on. So knowing that, that the company is really trying to make sure that the standards are met is important and something that you may not know with, with an off-brand. Um, but like I said, if it's $40 or less, it might be worth you checking it out. If you're looking for some recipes, I have a lot in modern cast iron, and I suggest starting with the taco soup because that's just a fun one and the whole family loves it. And it's a really good one to see the benefit of the enamel wear versus the, the bare cast iron. So I hope this has given you a little bit of an introduction. Uh, I'll continue to add more information to this and to share more with you. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you are encouraged to go out and get an enamel Dutch oven and enjoy some of those benefits of cast iron with maybe a little bit easier easier to clean and no seasoning required. So let me know if you have any questions. This has been Ashley L. Jones and you can find me at BigSisterKnows.com and you can check out Modern Cast Iron wherever books are sold. Thank you.